Greetings Voyagers. Well, it's a pretty nice day today. Sun is out. It was dreary and cold and it rained and windy all day yesterday. And I had to drive around for a couple of hours to get a charge on the house battery. And <laughs> driving around for a couple of hours doesn't put a lot of charge on that battery. I left with two out of five bars. <laughs> I drove around for a couple of a couple of hours. I came back. And I only had three bars. But hey, you know, I'll take what I can get. Um, I'm I'm sorely disappointed with this power inverter. Not only because of the poor design with the placement of the outlets, but Uh, 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 when I turn it on, I want to start driving to, to charge the battery. And when I turn it on, I hit the power button. Um, it's supposed to come on a steady, solid green light. But instead it flashes. It's flashing green. So I had to look at the instructions. And the instructions are, you know, chinglish. Chinese translated to English and the type is so darn small you can hardly read it Look at this Oh, that's the that's the Spanish All right, Here we go It's the fine print And uh It's the, the language is confusing. I think what it says is if the if the light is flashing and it's not a solid green, it means it's overheating. Well, I just turn the thing on and it's flashing. It says to shut it off and wait for it to cool down. So well, how can it cool down? It hasn't even heated up. So I figured, well, maybe that's what it needs just to warm up. Maybe it flashes when it's not warm. No, but it doesn't seem to make any sense. This is an electronic device. Shouldn't have to warm up. There's no moving parts or anything in it like an engine. So I just let it flash for a while. I kept driving. Then it came on a solid green. But then for like, I don't know, maybe every two or three minutes it would start flashing again. I'd have to shut it off, wait for a minute and turn it back on again. And then it would come on. It would stay on, stay solid green longer. You know, it might take five or ten minutes for it to start flashing. I don't have to shut it off and turn it back on again. What a damn nuisance. And I, I don't want to return it because they're not going to give you your money back. All they're going to do is ship you another product. The same thing. They're just going to replace it with a new one. I don't want another new one. <laughs> you know, I, this thing is a failure. You know, thumbs down. Stanley Power It, Stanley Power Tools. Big thumbs down on this. So it was a $60 item. I'm kind of flush with cash right now. So um, I'm just going to buy another one. I'm going to go to an auto parts store. I bought that at Pep Boys. That's that big franchise. Auto parts and auto repair all across the country. They only had two models, the 500 watt and the 200 watt. So I'm not going to go back to Pep Boys and buy another one. I'll go to an auto parts store and do a little shopping around. Um, I don't want to order another one from Amazon because it'll take a few days to get here. And I kind of need one now. Because uh, as you can see, the clouds are coming in. I don't know how much sun I'm going to get today. By 2 o'clock, it's, um, it's about 9.30 in the morning right now. By 2 o'clock, the weather forecast is going to be completely cloudy and then it's going to rain later again later on today uh, I had three bars on the battery pack right now so if I can get another bar out of it if I can just get one more bar out of it I'll be happy so yeah the electrical situation here is not optimum 
But, you know, it runs the lights. We have the lights in the van, and it runs the roof vent fan. So, uh, you know, but I, I'm not able to do any, any serious editing. You know, if we could just get a couple of days of sun, of good sun, I get some, uh, I get another edited video put out. That one that I released yesterday, I published yesterday, of uh, Priest Pass in, in the Helena National Forest out in Montana. I started that video about a week ago, starting to put that together, maybe even longer. Um, it's taken a long time just to get that one video put together because of my electrical shortage here. So, yeah. Uh, on the health front, I had a real health scare two days ago. I got out of the van to empty the trash. And when I got back in, I was gasping for breath. And I was getting panicky. And I had a lot of trouble breathing. And then, you know, even yesterday, um, just standing up and sitting down would cause shortness of breath. And I'm still experiencing some shortness of breath. But I feel my strength has come back today. I, I feel stronger today. I was weak. I was weak and dizzy. No fever, no cough. Um, but I'm wondering if that's yet to come, if this disease is cycling through the symptoms and uh, it's going to happen. I just have to wait for it. I don't know. It's been This is like day 30. It's been a solid month. Um, I'm glad that I, I feel my strength coming back on my good days because, you know, it, these things can wear you down and wear you down and, and, then, uh, and then they take over. And you, then you lose the battle. So it's scary. I'm still in a scary place with this. I'm not out of the woods. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm still experiencing a little shortness of breath today, but no fever. Um, no headaches, no body aches. I had those the other day, too. I, I slept pretty well last night. So for now, one day at a time. Feeling okay for now. I still have about maybe five more videos from last summer's road trip that I need to produce. I don't know how long that's going to take. We can get some sunshine. I can crank out a couple more. But we'll see. Whew. Yeah, I'm out of breath just talking, but... Yeah, it's been uh, feeling dizzy and weak. Um, I, I don't... I don't know if I should even try to do any shopping. Um, my daughter has offered to do some shopping. I might just call her up on that, but I can't let her get close. Her and her and her two kids, my grandkids, so far they're fine. She's unemployed. She's a restaurant worker, and she's been unemployed now for I don't know, probably a few weeks, I guess. Um, she uh, she signed up and got her unemployment benefits right away. She's a hard worker. Uh, I'll tell you, she's she's no slouch. She took on a part-time job working 10 hours a week at a CVS pharmacy. So, uh, and this is while she was working full-time in the restaurant. But while her kids were in school in the daytime, she would go in and put a few hours in at the pharmacy. So she has that income. She already got her unemployment because she signed up early. My friend out in Denver is in dire straits. He was on unemployment before uh, the COVID. He calls himself a pre-COVID unemployed person, and he was getting his benefits, and then he didn't get his check. 
And then he tried to call, and um, he couldn't get through. He tried to go on, get online, and he couldn't get online. And um, he hasn't been paid in two weeks. Um, he went to file a couple weeks ago, and they said he was it was too late. I guess too late in the day, the certain hours, or whatever. And then he began to get a little paranoid that maybe what the government was doing was kicking people off the pre-COVID unemployed, kicking them off so they could take in all the new claims. And there's millions of new claims across the country. Oh, I forget how many millions of people. And it's, it's totally jammed the system. Um, people can't get through. They can't even apply the websites are crashing, the phone lines are jammed, they don't have enough personnel, enough workers to process the claims, and people are hurting out here. So uh, I, I had already sent him some money. He's out in Colorado, out in Denver. I had sent him some money, and he had his suspicions that he was being booted off to make way for this new wave, and uh, his suspicions were correct. He found out yesterday that um, his status had been changed to inactive, and they told him to reapply. Are you kidding me? And he's been trying and trying, and he can't get through. He can't talk to anybody. So he's in tough shape. Um, I offered to send him some more money, and he said he's okay for right now. So as if, you know, well, if the wolf's at the door, he'll give me a call. We're kind of flush with cash right now. We've been sitting around, not, you know, not traveling. So we haven't been spending, you know, $90 a day on gas. Um, so we're starting to get caught up and starting to get saved up. And um, we're going to get our stimulus checks, direct deposit, sometime next week, I think probably probably by Wednesday or Thursday. So we'll be all set. Uh, we'll be we'll be doing okay. Um, but he didn't have he made the mistake of not having his unemployment checks do, going direct deposit. They sent him a physical check. He, even if he gets on, back onto unemployment, um, his stimulus check was probably going to take months to get to get to him. So, yeah, this, this virus is hurting in so many ways, in, on so many levels. But we're okay for now, as long as I can stay healthy. My son hasn't shown any symptoms yet, which completely, I'm just perplexed. And uh, it's just, you know, we live in a van. We live in a small space. I'm infected. He must surely be infected. He's not showing any symptoms at all, and good for him. So as long as we can maintain for a while, I guess eventually we'll be okay. Oh, damn. Uh, my solar panel fell over. It's windy today, so it's getting, things getting blown around. It's still cold, sun is warm, but when the sun goes in, it's cold. It's been a cold spring. I wish it would warm up. It will happen eventually, so. So that's an update. I hope you all are doing well out there. Try to keep following those guidelines, physical distance, hand washing and all that stuff, and maybe we'll get through this. It looks like the curve is flattening in some areas. Uh-oh, I'm running out of time. I only got about 20 seconds left. So that's a wrap for today, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, and share, because sharing is caring. Peace and out.